Hello friends, this is Nemo Martin, creator of Trice Forgotten. I wanted to come in and thank you for checking out our swashbuckling adventure. There are a lot of people on deck at Rusty Quill helping to make this podcast possible, and the best way you can support us and our show is by spreading the word. Tell your friends and pirate nemeses, share us on social media with the hashtag Trice Forgotten, rate and review us on your podcatcher of choice, maybe even play it on repeat for your aquarium buddies. We are still a small company, and we want to keep bringing more and more work to writers and performers in future seasons seasons, but we can only do that if people listen and spread the word. If you want to contribute to us directly and get first word on new projects, behind the scene content, exclusive events, and more, consider joining the Rusty Quill Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash Rusty Quill. Now please, enjoy the episode. Rusty Quill presents Trice Forgotten, Episode 3, Battens Down. Everyone thinks fishing is so easy that you just cast your line and the little fishies come up and eat that they just flap their little fins and boom, dead fish. <laughs> well, you and I both know. That well, that is just... no. <laughs> I know you're not about to tell me anything about fishing. Not when I've been slinging carp glass and ass since you were in swaddling clothes. Did <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just say he's been... I mean, he's a large man, certainly, but to throw an entire donkey. <laughs> I think perhaps you should have a conversation about it with Baker when he's less distracted. <laughs> Baker's going to teach me how to sling ass! <laughs> Careful what you say, old man, or word will get around that you'll teach the younger man all about. <laughs> What's the matter? Worried you might hear your proposition? No, 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 I've had an incredulous realisation. You know, for all those months using a beer grate for a desk, they never actually gave me beer to drink. This stuff is better than it smells. I can understand the appeal. Look around this tavern and you'll find plenty of reasons to abstain. Mm. Or at least a reason to slow down. Who had the stew? That's me. This, that one with the glazed turmeric potatoes. Aye, it is. We slow roast the meat over an open flame for the better part of three days. It's our specialty. Thanks. You can go. Ah, just so you know, there'd be extra coin for whoever might be able to tell me the spice blend used on that boar. How much coin might a person get for taking such a risk? Enough. Bring me enough, and it's yours. (laughs) Anyway, prettiness. Besides, you're trying to bribe me away with coin we don't have. Coin you don't have? Oh, I mean, what type of tavern glazes the potatoes? <laughs> the kind of tavern you could learn a thing or two from. Right, you lot. You're all sitting here drinking delicious ale. No, we're just drinking tea. Well, you're all sitting here drinking, which, by the way, you're welcome for. You're paying. Yeah, and one drink each, don't get used to it. And now you're sitting here on your asses making me no money with which to bribe people. Do you know what happens to those in my debt? My goodness, no! What happens to them? Bad things. Very bad things. Gosh! 
That's not good. So, I don't care how you do it, who you do it to, or what part of your soul you lose to make it happen. Get up, get out of here, go make me coin. Now. Right now? But I've still got a hand. Now. Uh... Come on, Siva. Let's go look about. I'm sure we can find work somewhere. Don't think you're off the hook either. <laughs> hey, you forget who actually makes the ship's bread and cooks up all those fish you go on about. And... You still need to earn coin. Huh. Hey, cook for my bread. That was before. Before? Before what? Before. It's not like I'm asking you to break contract. Contract? Besties, it's me. I don't have a contract. But, wait, you think I should? We need more coin. So you stop being so lazy and cook more than hard tap boiled in seawater. Mm, nothing wrong with boiled hard tack. Nothing wrong with... You're not seriously trying to imply... Are you saying boiled hardtack could ever stand up to beautiful, wonderful, luscious potatoes simmered in a rich boar stew? Don't be a sorry bugger mood, are we? So good. I see what you're trying to do, Alistair. Is it working? Mm. That's it. I'm going because I want to, and not because you're making me. <laughs> Baker? I see we've been kidnapped already. <laughs> no, not yet. Inshallah. I wanted to ask you something in private. Oh, yes. <laughs> Is it urgent? You might want to wait if you need some serious advice. <laughs> mm, this is fine. Uh, I see. You knew that lady who kidnapped Siva. And you have a history with her. We did. Is there something we should know? It's sorted. No need to worry. That's what Alestes told you? Hmm? I don't have any reason not to trust Alestes' words, and you shouldn't either. It's not just you who'll be affected by this decision, Baker. But if you tell me to trust her, then I will. The captain knows what she's doing. Excuse me. What do you want? I'm looking for work. I happen... No, I've got enough sweeps. Oh, no, no, I... This isn't a charity. I'm not here to apply as Some a... Some sort of scam, is it? Why don't you run along back to whoever's teat you just dropped from? You won't be tricking me. Ha! I am a highly skilled cartographer, trained under... <laughs> You're a highly skilled cartographer? And my father was one of the Twelve Apostles. <laughs> if you would just listen to me and look at my work, sir, I am more than highly skilled. I am downright gifted. This map of Galitivu is the best you will ever find. So, sir, if you would please. Galitivu? Hmm. This is, uh... You work under someone's employ, boy? I'm currently under the employ of Captain Alestes. Alestes? That's correct. 
Captain Alestis, the finest seafaring captain in, in the seven seas. <laughs> I bet she is. I need to look closer at this map of yours. In the back. Of course. <laughs> Oh, that's the stuff, Ziva, old boy! What a bolstering adventure! An excellent bitch with skills to match. My god, you might even have been charming. <laughs> so, what do you think? Maybe enough gold to... You better run along, boy. Excuse me? Here. Take your scrap of paper and run along. I'll still be back up for you. Uh, I, I thought... But... Uh, you were impressed just moments ago. And then I looked at it with my tools. And now I'm telling you to leave. Well, I have never been so ill-treated by someone with manners quite so... <laughs> Why waste my time like that? It's... It's... Rude! Ugh. Get out of my shop, boy. Or rudeness will be the least of your problems. <laughs> You're quick with that knife. Yes, been peeling veg longer than you've been alive, I'll bet. And what's a man with hands as skilled as yours doing picking up temporary jobs in tavern kitchens? Anything he can to keep bellies full and hearts beating. You've the arms of a whaler. No offence intended, just noting the obvious. He'd make more on a shift out on a ship than he would sitting here. I would. And a longer voyage, make enough of a commission. I'm sure you could afford to retire in peace. I'm sure I could. But you're going to continue peeling potatoes? I am. Hmm. You were sitting out there with that captain looking to buy our recipe. I was. You think you can steal it if you sit in our kitchen for long enough? If I thought I could learn a recipe like that in a couple of hours, I wouldn't respect the dish as much as I do. Hmm. So what is your goal, Spy? Peel enough potatoes so that I can afford a sack and a pinch of turmeric as a goodwill bonus for an old man. Hmm. You drive a hard bargain. I can't believe no one wants to hire me at all. Is it my face? Does my breath smell? Do I need to bathe? It has been a while since I last had a proper bath. Maybe it... Perhaps it is because you're not looking too steady on your feet. Ugh. You know you don't have to do everything the captain tells you to do. If I can just prove to Captain and to Baker that I can keep up with them, maybe they'll see that I am of use to them. You'll be of less use to them, several tankards to the wind. They've had years of experience scrubbing decks and slinging ass, which means I've got to make up for lost time. You're going to make that time up in a day, are you? Difficate on my goodwill when... You are good... Well, I, I was paying you. You were to be paid for honest work. I will not have my good name sullied because you could not be trusted to breathe it left your own devices. Oh, you should watch your words, friend. <laughs> Threaten me all you like. It doesn't change the fact that these gloves are not real ray skin. If you think me a fool... You will find yourself six feet under and 
out more than your silly little reputation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold. Peace. There's no need to draw blood this day. Hmm? Sheath your weapons. Uh, no one. Are you sure it's safe to I'll leave? move aside. Don't you. Whoa! Ha! Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> it's quite pathetic. Don't you. Help me! Please lower your blades. You're more likely to injure yourselves than each other. Ah, pipe down, you. Uh, at the very least, why not explain what has caused this rift to an outside party? Uh, well, I uh, had it on good authority uh, that, that this vendor here had a solid reputation for selling the highest quality... Uh, Goods and services. You tarnish my name in public. My client is a royal of the highest magnitude, and I cannot bring these inauthentic counterfeits before them because this vendor is too lazy to afford a real verification process. Verification? That's all you need? <sighs> if only it were that simple. To do so would require the utmost skill and knowledge. <laughs> and now he offers me no refund. Because they are 100% authentic. Allegedly. 20 gold pieces. And I will bring you real stingray leather. 20? No. 10. And you've got a deal. Nur set their price at 20. But you're more than welcome to continue this argument of yours while your client waits. Ha! <laughs> Thirty years I've been in this business, and you think some street urchin can do better than me? Hmm. See that you bring your evidence before the sun sets. And payment on receipt this time. Consider it done. I didn't know you were a ray expert, Noor. I'm not. Oh. So, how do you plan on finding real stingray leather? We catch some rays, find the closest match to those gloves, and bring it to them. Ah. Uh, and how do you plan on catching a stingray? <laughs> Aren't they quite dangerous? Oh, I'm not catching anything. But you just said that... We're going to make sure you earn your keep, Siva. Oh. Any of that to spare? What's in the sack? Spores of war? Fabulous treasures? Even better. Potatoes! Baker, you shouldn't have. Where's Noah? I was hoping they'd help me peel. Titting around on the shore down there with Siva. Hmm. What are they doing? <laughs> Who knows with those two? Here, pass us the rum. How's the fishing? Just seaweed so far. Lots <sighs> of stuff. 
Eyes down, Siva. Concentrate. Uh, I'm, I'm trying, but the little buggers are just far too fast. Be faster. Every ray you let slip is a coin gone. I can only assist so much. Wait. Are you doing this because you care about me? Oh, I see. You're teaching me so that I'll be able to gain respect with the captain. <laughs> you really are just the most there, wonderful. There. It's right oh. there. Go. Go. <laughs> there. No, it's right there. Go. Oh. Go, no, it's there. Oh, well, I can't see it. Oh. There it is. There's the fish. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of fools, those two. <laughs> well, I've got to admit, I'm taking a real shine to them. You take a shine to everyone. <laughs> Even the ones that don't deserve it. Are you saying you don't deserve it? Don't. And it's not true. Anyway, I didn't take too kindly to Gammon or that Anne neither. Yes! Yes! Nearly. You remember that time we nearly starved when Gammon's ship sprung that leak? Oh. I try to forget the things I don't like to remember. I keep trying to picture what his face looked like. The expressions he made. How he proved to us that everything was under his control, that us half-drowned was all part of his grand plan. <laughs> <sighs> I'm tired, Baker. Oh, of course you are. You've been up since the sun rose, and how many hours did you spend in that tavern after I left you? No, Baker. I'm tired. That feeling, that heaviness in my chest, it's heavier now. Sometimes I feel like I can't breathe. I don't wonder what I'm supposed to do. You know, I'm sure it's not as bad as all that. Having people to look after is a scary job. You do what you need to do, Alistair. It'll work out in the end, and if it doesn't... You know you always have me by your side. Baker, shut up. I know it can be hard to hear, Elastis, but the crew is more Baker, than Baker, shush! Get the net! Oh, oh. Ah, feel the size of this thing! Here. Let me feel. Come on. Get your own rod, old man. Come on, you little... Yes! Yes! I am a god unto fish kind! No! Not one word, Baker. Aye, Captain. Nice try, Captain! Don't you have better things to be concentrating on, you? Siva! 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 Oh, oh. Hurry! Oh! Oh, come on! You can do it! Oh, I see it! No! Siva! Grab it! It's in the bucket, Siva! Not back in the water! What did you do? Oh! In the bucket! Oh! Oh, careful! <laughs> Yes! Yes, Siva! Oh! <laughs> Captain! Look what we... No! I did! All right, all right. You're all so far from the market where the coin is. Get going before your time runs out. Don't tell me that fish got you beat down, lass. Get up! Your old man's got more than enough for dinner tonight. Go on. Impress me then, chef. Yeah. 
one ray for you. Brought before sunset. <laughs> Good God, what in heaven's name is that? A stingray, like you asked for. Um, <laughs> you must be mistaken. Huh? Excuse me? Well, well, look at it. I mean, it's... It's all flappy and, and, and wriggly and, oh, that, that's, that's some sort of strange, flat fish. A stingray is a fish. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, you locals, thinking you can get away with teasing me like this. You're as bad as that other merchant, as if a royal would ever wear the skin of some stinky fish. Uh, out of interest, what on earth do you actually think a ray is? Well, why, of, of course, a magnificent creature, a legendary beast with a, a barbed tail and the wings of a bird, the ability to seriously injure even the most powerful of warriors. And and you've just got a fish in a bucket. But... The 20 gold? No, no. The deal is, oh, I won't be fleeced. I am forced to take my business elsewhere. Get yourselves and your weird fish out of my sight. Potatoes are. I'd throw Siva overboard to make sure I never, ever go without these potatoes the rest of my life. Who even needs fish? Maybe we should just eat potatoes from now on. Here, Noor, let me serve you. Hey, you two, you didn't bring any coin, you only get one potato each. You can have my serving, Noor. No, no, you worked hard. You should eat your share. Oh, then would you like me to mash your potatoes for you? No, I don't need you to mash my potatoes. Thank you. So, the hold isn't as threadbare as it has been. That's good news for all of us. Especially with those extra rays you brought aboard. They're not for eating. Why, are you planning on keeping them alive? Why not? Why not? Because they're food. They don't have to be. I thought I could build an aquarium. An aquarium? Are you sure? More likely they'll die in there just as quickly as they die in the pot. What if I clean it out for them? And I can feed them and, um, take them for walks? Sea baker? You wouldn't have to do anything. You'll get hungry soon enough. I like the idea of an aquarium on board. You do? Why not? It's like having a living larder, which means I have to spend less money on you lot. Uh, you're actually considering this? Pop a couple of lobsters in there, and I can pick out the ones I want to eat on the day. You're not using my aquarium as a menu board. I'm sorry, I thought I heard the person who brought me no income today making demands. <laughs> it is not as if I'm being paid a wage anyway. And it sounds like ray leather is a lucrative business. We can always get into that market if it comes to it. It won't. That's what they all say. Yes. You can keep your weird little pets in my aquarium until I decide otherwise. Thank you. Congratulations, Noor. <sighs> Sounds like that settled then. Oh, I still can't believe it. It was as if time itself slowed down around me, utter darkness. But then I could see the aura, this shape. It came into view, and I just Baker. reached out for it right there and then. Yes, and I could grab it, but then I had to struggle so much. Here, with it, and I had to hold you can have the last potato. So Price Forgotten is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. 
The series is created by Nemo Martin and directed by Rafaela Marcus. Today's episode was written by Morgan Givens and edited by Catherine Seaton and Catherine Rinella. Tries Forgotten features Rebecca Bruff, Vic Sander, Shahan Hamza, and Gigi Zahir, with additional voices by Maddie Searle, Karim Cronfly, Ahmed Al Jabri, and Lydia Nicholas. Tries Forgotten is produced by Ian Gears and production manager Natasha Johnson, with executive producers Alexander J Newell and April Summer. To subscribe, view associated materials, or join our Patreon, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online. Tweet us at the Rusty Quill. Visit us on Facebook or email us at mail at rustyquill.com. Thanks for listening.